Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for clicking on my video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching. So in this video, I will be making a custom press on nail set. I'll be making like a Christmas theme collection set because I do want to have at least two um, Christmas theme press on nail set on my website available for purchase. But I'm going to be making like this white set with a holographic um, rose. And the holographic rose that I'm going to be using is um, foil. It's like a holographic rose foil. So this is the polish I'll be using. I use all my polishes from iJo Beauty. Absolutely amazing. I love, love, love their gel polishes. So for this nail, I'm trying to figure out how I did them, honestly, because I already have a set. So give me one second, let me try to find those nails. So this is the nail set that I'll be making. Gorgeous. And if you wanna see a better picture of these, I have them available on my Instagram. If you ever wanna see what any of my nails look like, you can definitely go on my Instagram and check my Instagram page out because I always post my nails on my Instagram, stuff like that. So, and they're all on my website, so. Most of my nails are size large because most of my clients and purchases is large. Like most people finger their nails are large. Mine's is a medium because I got these tiny little fingers, but the most average people is definitely a large or extra large because the last time when I first did press on nails a while back, a couple months back, when I started, I did them all medium size, thinking that, um, thinking that you know they're gonna be a medium and stuff like that. My clients would be a medium, y'all. I had to throw away all the medium nails. Wear, I had to wear like half of them because I was the only person that was a medium. I had to remake all of those nails when they purchased because they wanted large and I made medium so ever since then I just been using I mean I just been making larges and it's been working perfectly fine most of my clients are large so a lot of times I don't have to remake anything unless I'm like out of stock or it's a custom so yeah so I'm just adding a white like I said, I always add two layers, two to three layers, depending on how um, pigmented the color is. But this white is pretty um, opaque, so I wouldn't need like three coats or anything. Two coat would do for this white. And I absolutely love these design, you guys. And I also made another, the other Christmas set I did. Oh my God, I love them. I can't wait to show you guys. And I'm gonna be posting these on my website, definitely by the end of the week. So you'll definitely be able to purchase um, a nail set for Christmas or whatever. I'll have them up on my website and available real soon, way before Christmas, so be patient you guys you know I'm one person and I'm trying to make all these cute designs for you guys I'm trying to do different collection and different stuff so just be patient with your girl I'm coming you guys you're gonna see new nails on my website real soon so just be a little patient so like I said I'm gonna be doing two layers of this white and my daughter's singing y'all she thinks you know how to sing Sometimes the polish gives you trouble because if you're having these little like rents and they have bubbles and stuff and it causes these bubbles in the nail and I hate it. You just gotta be real careful to make sure you don't get like them bubbles and stuff in the nail because it's ugh, it's so annoying. So I always go on the side and I do this just to like clean up any extra nail yeah, that's trying, any extra gel polish that's trying to like crawl over to the side and cause these lumps and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm gonna put that one in the light. I'm gonna go ahead and use my top coat. And I'm gonna top these nails off. And 
And I definitely need to buy a new top coat because I'm running out. I gotta lean my bottle. You know, once you start leaning in the bottle, it's time to get a new one. But you know, I'm getting everything out of there. You feel me? Alrighty. Wipe that off. I always um top this these off first because I don't want no dust or you know how quick dust and lint would trap to white. Oh my goodness. I've seen it happen too many times when I do um acrylics like oh my goodness i have so many trouble with white sometimes and then sometimes my client will like i have paper towels for you to wipe your hands off but you know some of us are just used to um wiping our hands on our shirt and y'all and as soon as they do that like all the lint from your shirt go on that nail and it's like oh my god and if i don't know i start putting top coat on it now the lint is in my top coat i gotta throw that whole bottle of top coat away because all that lint is still in it. So, like, I really be all my clients on how they um, wash their hands and how they um, wipe them off and stuff like that. Because I don't got time to keep fixing nails, y'all. Like, once I do them, I just want them to stay like that. And I'm saying I feel like keep going back and wiping it off because you messed it up and putting lint on it and stuff like that. Like, mm -mm. So for the most part, my client get it and they follow my rules and we don't have any problem. The foil, I'm gonna be using this foil glue. I got this a while back on AliExpress. So, and it's thick and it kind of um, dries with a, a yellow like tint to it. I don't know why, but it's okay. It's not like that yellow that it's gonna affect the nails or anything like that so and i accidentally got it on my nail over here try to get that off because nah i'll just wipe that off I'm gonna use one of my wipes to wipe this white nail off because I got that gel, foil gel on it and I don't want like nothing to happen once I put it in the dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. This is the foil that I'll be using, this one right here. I got them off AliExpress like a while back, like I said. So I'm just gonna be using this one right here. Super cute. All right, so this is dry. So I'm gonna put that one in. And this is what I was saying. It like have a yellow tint to it. If you can't really see, this nail's a little yellowish, but it's all good. So every time you guys I always mess up on which part to put it down on but oh, we're trying to get it right now okay okay so just gonna put that on hopefully i did it right so i just put the foil on basically rub it on there and boom and then i'll just go in where i need to and like, no, just like throw in a couple more pieces in there. So you just put that foil on, press, rub it, you know, whatever, all that good stuff. And like so. All right, you guys, so I'm pretty much done with the sets. This is how they came out, super cute. So, you know, I gotta package them up now. You guys didn't know off camera, I already went ahead and sanitized my hand. I'll do it again so y'all can see. I have my spray hand sanitizer right here. 
to spritz her up a little bit. And wipe. Put that back. All right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and package these up. doing it like um on the table because every time i do it y'all my camera be shaking like crazy so that's why i'm like trying not to really do it like that and if you've ever seen on my other videos they'll be like extra say i messed up and it'd be like an extra little you know right here you see that little piece i don't like that little piece right there that's like in there so i just get my little file and i just go under me and i just clean that up so i don't to worry about it and it's gone and then i just put it in there like so So this is what they look like. Super, super cute. Like I said, they will be available on my website by the end of the week, if not sooner. So just be on the lookout. I'll definitely send um, emails out so you guys can know when I put them out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And the name of this set is called Glow Snow. So make sure you purchase your Glow Snow for Christmas once it's available. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.